Happy summer! Welcome back to our weekly environmental news report. First news. On July 14th, India launched its first solar-powered train, which is projected to save around 21,000 liters of diesel per year. Solar panels are located on the roof of the train and will generate 7,200 kilowatts of energy in order to power the lights, fans, and information display systems inside passenger coaches. Although the first train will still be pulled by a diesel-powered locomotive, the rest of the carriages are fitted with 16 solar panels each, which will last for up to 25 years and undergo regular inspection. The first of these new trains will go into service in New Delhi, one of the nation's most polluted cities. This innovative system was designed by Jackson Engineers under the direction of the Indian Railways Organization for Alternate Fuels. Energy Fuels Inc., a Canadian mining company, plans to drill down almost 1,500 feet in the Grand Canyon watershed to extract high-grade uranium ore. The Avasupai Native Americans are a small tribe that lives in the Supai village in the Grand Canyon, where their only water resource is a pristine creek that comes from a natural aquifer under the bedrock. The indigenous people argue that any contamination of the groundwater from the mining operations will end up in Avasu Creek, which would destroy an ancient way of life and threaten the health of the tribe. On the other hand, the company pledges to operate safely and follow state and federal environmental regulations, claiming there is zero risk. Says Rex Tillusi, former tribal chairman, the white man says it will be safe, but they have lied to us in the past. The world's first full-scale floating wind farm, called Highwind, is being developed off the northeast coast of Scotland, which would allow wind power to be harvested in deeper waters. According to the manufacturer Statoil, production from these turbines is expected to equal or exceed that of the current conventional bottom sanding turbines, and will also bring power to 20,000 homes. One giant turbine has already been implemented, and the other four will be put in place by the end of the month. Although it is currently very expensive to make the turbines, Leif Delp, the project director for Highwind, hopes that the cost will dramatically decrease in the future in the same way it has for conventional turbines. With more than 700 wildfires burning in British Columbia's forests since this spring, environmental experts are concerned that the increased spraying of chemical fire retardants will harm fish in the region. The BC Wildfire Service says air tankers have already dropped 8 million liters of retardant, which may have gotten into streams and lakes. The red plumes of ammonia compounds that make up the fire retardant can kill aquatic life if they're not diluted, and can also leave a red stain on homes and cars. Despite the environmental concern, many agree that fire retardants are crucial in British Columbia where there is a growing concern of wildfires and hope that a market for environmentally friendly retardants will emerge in the future so there will no longer be a choice between fighting fires and saving fish. China has unveiled plans for Liuzhou Forest City, a 342-acre self-contained neighborhood in southern China that will comprise more than 70 buildings all covered with 40,000 trees and almost a million plants. The city is designed by Italian firm Stefano Bueri Architetti and comes on the heels of the vertical forest in Milan. The plants and trees are expected to absorb almost 10,000 tons of carbon dioxide and 57 tons of pollutants per year and produce 900 tons of oxygen annually, while collectively decreasing the air temperature and providing habitat for wildlife. Renewable energy is also a significant aspect of the forest city. Solar panels on the roofs will power buildings, while geothermal energy will power air conditioning. Construction is set to begin in 2020, but the completion date is still unknown. That's all for this week's environmental news report. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and help promote environmental awareness. Together we can make our world a greener place to live in.